Miami. Where are we? Page 29, right? Okay. For page 29, we are supposed to have a multiple choice test. Okay, for the multiple choice test questions, we have here David Copperfield's father died when? When do you think he died? A, B, C, or D? A, David, uh, six months before David was born. B, when David was um, six years old, C, six months after David was born, or letter D, six days before David was born. Okay, I guess you have it right. Six months before David was born. So the answer is letter A. So number two, let's go to number two. Um, hmm. Aunt Betsy left their house when she, A, saw David's mother, B, knew the big girl was a boy, uh -huh. C, oh no, was a girl, I'm sorry, C, argued with Peggy, and D, knew the baby was a boy. So we all know that the answer here is letter D. Okay, so let us go to number three. While David was visiting Pegotty, okay, Pegotty's family, his mother, A, had an accident. B, married Mr. Murdstone. C, went away. D became ill. So what could be the answer? The answer is, of course, letter B. She married Mr. Murdstone. Okay, now let's try to go to number four. Mr. Murdstone's sister was very kind to David. Is it true? She was frightened of her brother. Uh huh. Let's see. She uh, was very different to her brother. Letter D. She looked and sounded like her brother. So we all know that she's just as stern as her brother. So it's letter D. Okay. Let's go to the next page, which is on page 30. Page 30, we have their number five. When David couldn't do his work. Okay, what happened? Who beat him? Of course, Mr. Murdstone. That's why he was beaten by David. So letter D as in dinosaur. Number six. David was sent to a boarding school in Salem. Right? The name is Salem House. Number seven. He had to wear dirty clothes a sign around his neck, a dark hat, and or a uniform. So letter C, we all know, is a sign around his neck. And it, it's written there, he bites. Okay. Number eight, he made friends with Tommy Traddles, the blank boy in school, the unluckiest boy in school. Okay. And number nine, Steerforth was the only boy in the school that... A, Mr. Crickle beat every day. B, Dave and did like. C, always got good marks. D, Mr. Crickle didn't beat. It's true. Letter D, Mr. Crickle didn't beat. Only James is tear forth. Number 10, when David returned home, his mother had had a baby. B, Mr. Merson was much nicer to him. Impossible. Better see his mother was unkind to him. No, impossible. The Peggy had left. No, not even until the end of the story. She didn't leave him. So it's letter A. His mother had had a baby, and we all know it's a boy. 
Let's go to the characters. This is found on page 31. Okay, let's see. We have there 11. Uh, who is the richest and most important person in David's family? It's letter B, Miss, Beth, Miss Betsy Trotwood. Okay. Number 12, had black hair, a black mustache, and an unpleasant smile. Is none other than Mr. Murdstone. Number 13, Mr. Barkis was a, was a large red-faced man who admire, uh, liked talking to Peggy. B was very fond of Aunt Betsy. C found the conversation difficult. Mm -hmm. Admired Miss Murdstone. Okay, so it's letter C. Found conversation difficult. Although she liked talking to Peggy, but she couldn't. He couldn't. Letter C. Okay, number 14. Um, was handsome and intelligent with curly hair. It's letter A, Steerforth. None other than Steerforth. Letter A, 15. Who warned David that Steerforth was dangerous? Agnes. Letter B. The Micawbers, A. House was always clean? No. B. Children were often in trouble? No. C. Moods were very changeable? No. Life was always cheerful? Yes. Okay. Number 17, although Blank seemed mad, he was sensible and intelligent. Who is he? Letter D, Mr. Dick. Okay, next we have um, David Blank, Mr. Spenlow's daughter, Dora. Let's see, letter A, took an instant dislike to? No. Felt very confident with no. D tried to avoid no. D fell instantly in love with. So it's the answer letter. Let's go to number 19. Uriah Heep encouraged Agnes' father to drink more. Letter D. Ham died while trying to rescue Steerforth. Letter C. Let's go to the dialogues. Okay, for the dialogues. We have, okay, let's just go have a little revision of the characters, okay? We, okay, let's start from the setting. I go back to your notes. I just want to revise the answers for the setting. Uh, we have number 1A, number 2D, as in dinosaur, number 3B. 4D, 5D, 6C, 7C, 8B, 9D, 10A. For the for the characters, we have okay, 11B, 12B, 13C, 14A, 15B, 16C, 17D, 18D, 19D, 20C. All right, so now we are into dialogue. Dialogue is like 21. This is a black day for me, Copper, Copperfield. Okay, this, I, I remember who said this, Mr. McCobber. Okay, so the answer is D. If I were you, I would wash him. Number two, who said it, Mr. Dick. Okay, number 23, I don't believe a word of your story. Number 23, it's Aunt Betsy. 24, I could never rise so high. Uriah Heep, you're right. Okay, 25, what a lovely girl and what a coarse young man she's engaged to. Steerford said that. 26, I've given my heart to her and I hope to marry her one day. Who said that? Uriah Heep. Okay. 27, Please, please forgive me for running away and leaving you. Who said that? Emily. Okay, let's go to the next page. Number 28. You love each other. Confess it and be happy. Miss Mills. Remember Julia Mills? All right. Letter B. 29. Oh, please don't be practical. It frightens me so much. Dora said it. It's letter D. And for 29, I mean... For number 30, 
I don't wish to work any longer for the wickedest man in England, Mr. Micawber.